Hey guys, what's up? Uh, today I'm going to be showing you the color uh, layout or you know, the final product actually. Um, the colors that I'm choosing for painting the uh, Abomination Mini for Hero Quest. Um, it's like this little fish man looking guy with a, with a half of a trident there. A um, couple things that I've learned so far with painting almost exclusively with the contrast paints. I, I am a beginner, um, you know, my goal out of painting these is kind of to get these tabletop ready. Uh, I'm not really looking to win any kind of art awards for these or or you know have them as like display pieces. I uh, just want to really you know enhance the experience of playing the game. A um, couple of things that I that I have learned um, when working with these is um, you know the the priming technique that I'm using, which is a, like a Zenithal prime. Um, so basically, it brings out. I don't know if you can see it, but it brings out a lot of the sh shadows naturally uh, if you apply if you apply it correctly. Um, and basically, what I did was I applied like a black base coat onto this. And then from there, I used gray sear and sprayed that at a 45 degree angle around the mini. And then from the top down, I used the Wraith Bone, which is like a whiter color primer, and just hit them top down um, from, uh, from, from above with the Wraith Bone. And it gives you like this, this shadow um, type of appearance. And it's really nice because when you're, when you're applying the contrast paints, they're, they're a little uh, transparent, right? So it picks up naturally the shadows that that primer gave you um, when you're applying it to the mini. One thing I would say it's pretty important about working with these contrast paints is you do want to work from uh, lightest to darkest and you want to make sure you kind of plan out your colors ahead of time. So I'm going to go through really quick uh, the colors that I have here um, for the, the, the abominations. Um, and really where I'm going to apply them and then you know then I'll show you you know what it actually is going to look like or what it actually looks like you know after they've been applied each step of the way so for the skin I think we're going to go with like a lighter um, more of like a like a tealish type of color for blue it's that's an arith arithmetic blue uh, for the scales these like uh, these scales or these plates that he has on him and even probably like right around his his head here i'm gonna go with a, like a really bold blue talus talisar blue um for the barnacles on his back and for uh for the barnacles on his back i'm going with a uh, snake bite bite leather a little bit of brown orange there for the starfish i'm going to use the griffhound orange and for his uh tunic there we're going to be using gorgrunta fur um, and then for his teeth and his claws and maybe even, I'll see how it comes out, but maybe even like these, these spines here, I'm going to be using uh, the, uh, the skeleton horde there. Um, one other thing that I, that I have here for his weapon, I do have bait, I'm not going to use contrast on those, but for the weapon I do have base paints. So I have a lead belcher here. And I also have our retribution armor, which is like a gold. Uh, I'm kind of undecided what I want to do there. Do I want to do the handle and like lead belcher, and then maybe like the spikes on either end and like in like gold? I, I'm thinking like you know trident, and golden trident, something along those lines. And then depending on what uh, what metal metallic color I use, I'm going to go ahead and shade it appropriately. So for the gold, uh, I typically shade it with Agrax Earth Shade, and if I do use the silver, uh, I'm going to go ahead and shade it with the Noon Oil. So um, one, other, one other color that I have here is for like touch-ups. This is basically the base um, of Wraith Bone, which is the top that I prime with. If I do get any kind of like bleeding from the colors, I might just touch it up a little bit just to neaten it up if it's really, really bad. Um, you know, otherwise, like I said, I'm going for, you know, kind of tabletop ready. I'm not looking to, you know, um, spend a lot of time on this. But, you know, to the, to the you know, just looking at it from afar, they'll be perfectly acceptable to, to bring to the table and... and uh, you know, really immerse your, you know, really bring out that experience for you. All right, so first couple of colors have been completed. Uh, I did the snake bite, uh, not the snake bite, I did the skeleton horde for the teeth, uh, the, the spines there, and the claws, um, uh, and the, the claws and the feet there, and I did the aromatic blue for the the body there and you can see it kind of picked up uh it kind of picked up the um the colors there for um or the shading i should say um from the zenithal primer uh next up i'm going to go ahead and do the um 
gonna go ahead and do the the barnacles that snake bite leather and I'm going to go ahead and do the the starfish on either side there uh, the orange and I'll do the plates the face here I'll do that that darker uh, ta uh, talisar blue okay so um, painted the uh, the scales and the the starfish and the, and the barnacles uh, for this guy again the the scales were done in um, in Kalisar blue um, the starfish was done in the uh, Griff Charger orange and then the um, the skit the barnacles were done in like a snake bite leather I may actually just to bring out a little bit more in like the scales I may put like a little bit of um, I may put like a little bit of Agrax Earthshade on it, but we'll we'll see. We'll see how it comes out. Um, and I I'm gonna change it up a little bit. I'm gonna do the fin. I like I think I like the idea of doing the fin in yellow, along with the eyes. Um, and then we're gonna go ahead and do that that tunic there in the uh, in the Gore Grunter fur. And then I'm gonna hit the uh, the spear and and the belt there. Um, I'll hit that in like a like a gold. I think um, see how it comes out. Okay, and here is the final product um i based them black also uh while i was at it um but i decided to hit the fin with like yellow and i really like really like how that came out um, i went all gold on his staff did the gold around the belt there as well um and the uh the gore grunter fur for the loincloth um yellow for the eyes Pretty, pretty happy with how it came out. Um, I also did the the uh, Agrax Earthshade wash, not only for the spear and the belt buckle, but I also did it uh, on the scales around his head, and it just did enough, just enough to kind of differentiate like his um, his scales on his arms and legs from from the scales on his head. I mean, I think that looks that looks pretty cool. Um, so yeah. Uh, these guys are all done. You know, just another tip. One thing, one thing that I typically do is I, I work all with one color at a time. So, um, you know, when I'm painting the blue, the light blue, I'll do that first mini, um, and then rather than jump to a different color on that mini, I'll just put the second mini in and paint him the same color blue. So I'm not, you know, it kind of helps move the process along a little bit, and I'm not constantly changing colors on the brush there. Um, but overall, you know, I like how they came out. Um, I think maybe if I, you know, I think I have some alt sculpts of these guys. I might do the alt sculpts in like a, like a dingier, like maybe like a gray based type of palette. Um, but overall pretty, pretty happy with how they came out. And I would, I would certainly say that, you know, these, these didn't take me too long to do. Um, you know, I would say for all three of them, it probably took me, you know, I took my time on them. It probably took me like um, about 15, 15 to 20 minutes each, maybe a little bit longer than that because I did, I did get a little bit, you know, I probably did go a little bit more detailed than I, than I should have um, with like the starfish and the barnacles. I probably could have, you know, shortened that up, but you know, it probably took me all in all, um, you know, about, about, you know, 20, 25 minutes maybe each per miniature, um, getting a little bit faster as I, as I progress through these. Um, but they're certainly tabletop ready. I have no problems, you know, putting them in the game and, um, you know, I do have to hit them with like a, like a dull coat, just a, like a varnish, dull coat varnish, just to, um, you know, seal up all the colors and the, and the shade there. Um, but yeah, that's, that's, uh, those are the abominations. Um, thanks for watching.